Hello, and welcome to this presentation on Oracle Advanced Security in Oracle Database 12C. My name is Todd Botker, and I'm the Product Manager for Oracle Advanced Security. This is the second in a series of short video recordings for anyone who's looking to learn more about Oracle Advanced Security and quickly get up to speed on what's new in the current release. It is often said that one picture is worth a thousand words, so let's pick up where the previous overview presentation left off and show a product demonstration. In this Oracle Advanced Security Data Redaction demo, you will see sensitive information being redacted by the database in a real-world application. You also will see creation and management of data redaction policies using Oracle Enterprise Manager. We will end by looking at an actual PL SQL script that creates a data redaction policy. Here is a simple call center application built using Oracle Application Express or Apex and running inside of an Oracle Database 12C pluggable database. I'll start off by logging in as a call center operator who's coming into work and starting their shift. After logging in, the operator is taken directly to the customer summary screen. The operator picks up the phone to take their first customer call, and the customer on the other end of the line communicates their name, which we will use to look up their key information. Here we see the customer's details, including contact, payment, and other profile information. At the top right of the screen, you can see that, per the requirements of the Payment Card Industry Standard, or PCI, and according to the direction of our auditors, we already are redacting the customer's credit card number so that it is not displayed in the clear in this application. At the bottom left of the screen, you can see some personally identifiable information, or PII, about this customer that the auditors also want to be displayed in a redacted form. Specifically, it is the customer's date of birth and U.S. Social Security number that the auditors are concerned about. At this point, I'm going to switch over to Oracle Enterprise Manager to set up a new redaction policy for this PII data. Here you see the data redaction home screen for my pluggable database. Notice the existing policy titled Redact Customer PCI that has been defined for redacting a credit card number. I'm going to click on Create to add a new policy for the PII data. First, I need to identify the relevant database schema, so I click on the search icon and select the schema titled CRM. Second, I need to identify the database table. In this case, we'll be redacting a table called CUST Accounts. Third, I will give the policy a name. We'll call it Redact Customer PII. Fourth, I need to add the relevant columns to this redaction policy. To do that, I click on the Add button below. We want to redact the date of birth, which is stored in a column named DOB. We'll use standard full redaction for the column. This redaction method swaps a known constant value into the query results that get returned. No additional parameters are required. Now we want to add a second column to the policy. We also want to redact the U.S. Social Security number, which is stored in a column named SSN. Notice that data redaction provides pre-configured templates for common sensitive data types such as Social Security number, so we will simply select the relevant template, which then will fill in the remaining parameters automatically. You can see that we'll be using partial redaction for the SSN, matching on the appropriate string format, and replacing the first five digits with an X. OK. Now this redaction policy is almost complete. Lastly, we want to set an enforcement condition for this policy. Notice that the policy expression on the left defaults to 1 equals 1, which evaluates to true, meaning to always redact the column data. 
In this call center, we have a supervisor who handles customer escalations, and this particular application user may have a legitimate business need to see the unredacted date of birth and social security number. So we need to add a condition that checks the current application user and exempts from redaction when it is the call center supervisor. To help with this, I click on the pencil icon, which raises the policy expression builder dialog. In this condition, I'm going to leverage application information that is passed into the database environment. I select the client identifier to read the current application user and set an is not condition that specifies the supervisor's account name. This causes the database to redact for all app users except for the call center supervisor. Now that the data redaction policy is complete, I can click on OK to commit this change and the new policy shows up in my list. This policy will be immediately enforced on active database sessions. No servers need to be restarted and no logging in or logging out is required. All I need to do is refresh the page in the application and the redacted version of the data will be displayed. So to show that, I'm going to switch back to the call center application. In just a moment, I'm going to click on the refresh button to reload this customer detail page. But before I do this, watch the bottom left panel which displays the date of birth and U.S. Social Security number. Notice that the sensitive data being displayed has been dynamically changed by data redaction. But what about the call center supervisor account? If I log out and then log back in as the call center supervisor, and then I look up the same customer name again, notice that, per the condition in our data redaction policy, the call center supervisor is exempted and still can see the unredacted data. This is the final step of the product demonstration. Here is a quick look at a PL SQL script that generates the same redaction policy that we just created in the demo. The first call, the DBMS Redact, creates the policy on the Cust Accounts table, specifying the policy expression to exempt the supervisor account, and pointing to the date of birth column which will be fully redacted. The second call, the DBMS Redact, adds the customer SSN column to the policy which will be partially redacted. So to wrap this up, data redaction enables you to reduce exposure of sensitive data displayed by applications. It does this directly from the database where you can redact consistently across your apps without having to make a lot of application code or configuration changes. And as we saw in the demo, you can make intelligent redaction decisions based on different runtime conditions. That concludes this Oracle Advanced Security product demonstration. As a next step, please join me for the next recording. Thank you.